Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I have is 3 plus 2x divided by 3 minus 2x equals 3. And what I want to do is show you how to simplify, uh, or I'm sorry, solve for the value of x. Now, there's a couple different ways we can go ahead and do this. Um, you know, one way we could see is just get 3. One thing we cannot do is just say, oh, that divides 1 because they're the same. Because no, that's an addition. That's a subtraction. So we cannot go ahead and do that. Nor can we just divide out the 3s or the 2x's. That's not going to happen, OK? Um, so there's a couple different ways we could do this. We could multiply by the denominator on both sides. Or probably preferably for you, you'd like to see, just rewrite 3 as 3 over 1 and then apply the cross product. All right. However, since this is my only denominator, I could just multiply 3 minus 2x on both sides because then it would delete, uh, it would <laughs> delete, it would divide out on the left side and then you'd have to multiply by 3 on the right side, which is the same thing that we're doing here. But I think most students like the cross product, so you'd rather me show it this way than try to confuse you. So when I apply my cross product, that's um, the equation that I get. Make sure that when you're multiplying this 3 times expression, you use parentheses. So therefore, you have to use distributive properties. So I have 3 plus 2x is equal to 9 minus 6x. Now to solve for x, I need to get the variables to the same side. So I'll add 6x to both sides. And I have 3 plus 8x equals 9. Now to solve for x, I subtract 3, subtract 3. And I have 8x equals 6. Divide by 8, divide by 8. x equals 6 over 8, which we can reduce by dividing out a 2 on the top and the bottom, which is going to become 3 fourths. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a proportion, as well as reduce your answer. Thanks.